And we'll also miss you, Serena. That's nightly news for this Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Tom Yamas. Have a great night. There aren't words to describe this season. I loved it. This live show can make you or break you. You've got a real shot at being in the finals. EGT, live tonight on NBC. Ron Johnson never thinks about people like me. He's all about those Washington guys. Drug companies, insurance companies. Johnson took their money and pushed for billions in special corporate tax breaks and even admitted benefiting from them himself. No wonder Johnson's net worth doubled since he's been in Washington. Meanwhile, Johnson thinks we ought to consider raising the retirement age. We ought to put Ron Johnson into retirement instead. SMP is responsible for the content of this ad. Howard Young Urgent Care. Get in, get out, get well. Straight ahead on Newswatch 12 at 6, last minute voting's underway. The number of people expected to cast a ballot for the primary. Plus a new youth correctional facility is coming to Wisconsin, where it will be and the goals for that new facility. And a bus driver shortage is causing the district to get some districts to get creative. We'll have those details as your local news starts right now. Your local news and weather from where you live. News Watch 12 at 6 starts now. Good evening and welcome to News Watch 12 at 6. I'm Jessica Jukic. Today's primary day here in Wisconsin with many citizens making their voices heard all the way down the ballot. Right now we go live to News Watch 12's Kyle Pazorski, who's at the Rhinelander Hodag Dome to tell us what he has heard from voters today. Kyle. Yeah, thanks, Jessica. According to data from the Wisconsin Elections Commission, in a typical partisan primary, less than 25% of the voting population actually votes. That's compared to 50, 60, or even 70% seen in general elections. So clearly, these primary elections often see much lower participation levels. However, today I spoke to voters as they were leaving the polls, both young and old, who were all saying the same thing. Voicing your opinion matters. I think it's very important to vote. No matter what the election is, I think everyone should take an interest in it. I vote because I'm a citizen that wants the right people in there. I just think it's important for everyone to voice their opinion. Voting matters. You don't vote, you shouldn't have a say in what happens. That last one was Ryan Lander, Mayor Chris Hannes. Right before going live here, a total of roughly 1,000 voters have come here to the Hoyt Dome to vote today. By the way, to find the highest percentage of voter turnout in a primary in Wisconsin, you have to go all the way back to 1952 for 38 percent voter turnout. We don't know if we're going to see that today, and we'll have to wait until the data comes out. But that does it just for me tonight. Reporting here in Rhinelander, Kyle Zorski, Newswatch 12. Thank you, Kyle. It was a warm and gorgeous day throughout the Northwoods. Chief Meteorologist Jeff Weller has a look at the perfect week ahead. Yeah, temperatures are hanging out near average today with highs near 80, uh, the average high being 79. We'll do it again tomorrow before a bit cooler air gets in here on Thursday into Friday. But right now, though, it's 77 in Rhinelander, 79 for Leona, still 80 this hour in Wisconsin Rapids. Okay, lots of clear skies out there today. It w we were in can you find a cloud mode today, right, with gorgeous skies across all of Wisconsin. Wisconsin, all of Michigan. In fact, pretty much all across the Midwest right now, there's nothing but high pressure going on here. You can see it, right? They all everything goes around it. Now, the problem is this over here is going to slowly make its way our way and likely arriving by the weekend as this whole kind of high shifts to the east. So overall, there is a chance for a few showers now in the forecast for Saturday afternoon. I know, I know. Your forecast then for tonight, though, is mostly clear skies, not as cold as last night. Some lows in the 40s last night, not so much tonight, with low temperatures down near 56. Your full forecast is coming up, Jessica. Thank you, Jeff. Today, Governor Tony Evers announced the Wisconsin Department of Corrections has selected a site for the new Type 1 facility in the city of Milwaukee. The announcement of the site is a major step in the efforts to close Lincoln Hills and Copper Lake and move kids to the DOC care, 
closer to home. The Milwaukee Common Council is expected to hold a special meeting later this week to provide initial support for the new facility. In 2015, dozens of law enforcement officers raided Wisconsin's Lincoln Hills and Copper Lake as part of a criminal probe into claims of abuse and unsafe working conditions that resulted in several lawsuits rega regarding youth mistreatment. Stevens Point voters may be taking marijuana use to the ballot box. The referendum would act as a poll gauging public opinion on the use of marijuana for those 21 and older. It has been years since the last poll of marijuana use was taken in Stevens Point, and the hope is that this one will bring action. The referendum would ask voters if marijuana should be legalized for adult use, taxed, and regulated like alcohol. The committee voted, voted in favor of the advancement of the proposal, but it does still need to be voted on by the city board before it hits ballots next fall. During the Rhinelander City Council meeting last night, there was a surprise resignation. Rhinelander City Administrator Zach Verwink announced his plan to leave the position. His, he first entered a city government as the mayor of Wisconsin Rapids before making the move north to Rhinelander in 2020. He first served as the consultant city administrator until formally being appointed to the position on May 1st, 2021 tough thing to leave a community uh, that has such great things and a bright future ahead of it. But I know that the next uh, administration as well as the mayor and the council are also equally committed to seeing great things happen here in the community. He headed several city projects ranging from housing, hotel development, public works and road maintenance. Vruink had to tackle several major hurdles during his tenure with the city of Rhinelander, including the outbreak of COVID and maintaining clean city water after the discovery of PFAS. Vruink will be leaving in October after a joint effort between the mayor, city council and himself to find an appropriate replacement. It's very bittersweet to leave a position where I care deeply about the mission and the cause and the work that we're doing. I know that the city uh, staff and the city council will remain focused on economic development, growing the city, and dealing with the infrastructure needs that Rhinelander faces. Vruink has a desire to help more great Wisconsin cities like Rhinelander and will be accepting a position as deputy director of the League of Wisconsin Municipalities. This position allows him to provide his services to a greater area than just Rhinelander and he's excited for the challenge. School is starting to resume across the country. That means so are after school activities. But it's a lot harder for parents to manage with a dri bus driver shortage. That's why a principal and an athletic director at a Wisconsin high school decided to get their commercial driver's licenses. Taylor Lumpkin has their story. It's a problem being felt nationwide. The demand for bus drivers is higher than ever, but drivers are nowhere to be found. Students at Pewaukee High School started feeling the effects of the bus driver shortage last year, mainly the school's 650 student athletes. We had students that were leaving significantly early so the bus could drop them off at the other school and then be able to be back for the afternoon route. We had to find creative ways to, to get our athletic teams to events. Currently, the Go Right Way Transportation Group, which partners with Pewaukee High School, says they have 21 bus drivers for the upcoming school year. That's just enough to get by at the moment. On any given night, we might have two or three teams that might be traveling, and so that requires bus drivers for each of those. That's when Pewaukee High School Principal Brian Sniff and athletic director Jeff Barron's decided to go the extra mile to help. They both decided to get their commercial driver's license, which means they'll be able to step in whenever there's a need for a bus driver to take athletic teams to away games or students to field trips. It's another hat, but but uh, again, we're, we're willing to do whatever we need to do to, to serve our kids. I happen to be a parent of a student who's on the track team. And I thought to myself, I'm like, well, you know, if I got my CDL, I'm already going to the track meet. I could just simply drive them there and drive them back. The pair will take their official bus driving test this Friday. And when they pass, they say they'll help out in any way they can for as long as they need to. One of the oldest active organizations in Rhinelander is making a difference. Coming up after the break, how the GFWC Rhinelander Women's Club is working to better the community. That's after Weather with Jeff right here on Newswatch 12. Newswatch 12 is brought to you by Bone and Joint Walk-In Care. Tired of Washington politicians not working for you? We've got a solution. With three easy payments of $1 million, Ron Johnson will work for you. Just ask these billionaires. They donated a fortune to Johnson, and he delivered a $215 million tax break for them. That's right, $215 million. 
Johnson even threw in a tax break for himself. Don't miss this opportunity. Call now. The SEC is responsible for the content of this ad. Oh, great. My wireless bill just went up. Hmm. Should have gone with U.S. Cellular. They aren't raising prices on any of their plans. Seriously? Yeah, my price won't increase. Well, that is refreshing. I feel like everywhere you turn these days, prices are going up. Supply chain got us, too. Don't get me started on the overhead costs. At U.S. Cellular, every plan for everyone is price protected. You know, I respect a female entrepreneur. U.S. Cellular, where every plan is price protected. Carpet City. Come to Carpet City Flooring Center and get the toughest waterproof floors in the industry where they're in stock and on sale. Rigid Maximum XL is 50% thicker and 30% longer, resulting in maximum durability, which is perfect for active families and pets. Not to mention, it's easy to install. Come to Carpet City Flooring Center to get your Rigid Maximum XL waterproof floors today. Carpet City, our prices will blow. Here in Wisconsin, too many homeowners endure frustrating and costly window problems. The ones who do something about it, well, they call us. Renewal by Anderson of Greater Wisconsin. Call today and save big. We handle everything locally, from start to finish and beyond. Give us a call because this savings offer only lasts for a limited time. Installation is always included. Plus, right now, get no payments and no interest for 12 months. Don't miss out. Schedule your free in-home consultation today. Accidents happen, and when they do, demand the best. At Shimkus Auto Body, we believe in quality work. Our certified technicians have years of experience and care about your car. At Shimkus Auto Body, you know you'll be dealing with a company that's been in business for over 30 years. We're so proud of our work that we've put our family name right on the door. Shimkus, a name you can trust. couple of us dipped our toes into the mid to upper 40s for lows this morning but then the sun came out a very nice day with temperatures back up near 80 we are in can you find a cloud today there weren't many out there at all uh, same story for us tomorrow followed by some changes getting in here on thursday okay right now though we're at 77 in rather bright sunshine a southwest breeze around nine dew points are still manageable in the mid seven or 50s across the region wasa you're at 80 congratulations the southwest breeze there at seven as well and the pressure at 30.07 okay so look at this this is comfortable and nice right uh hanging out and we're doing what we're supposed to do the average high being 79 most of us did that today we'll likely do it and then some tomorrow with high temperatures back up in the low 80s across the region tomorrow okay the average high being 79 the average low being 54 that record low 38 that'd be a bit cool uh no records last night uh sunsets at 8 15 and here's precipitation like i said uh we're above average now for the year and will that last? Well, it's going to be kind of a dry stretch ahead for us for a little bit as rain is back in the forecast over the weekend. Right now, though, we have lots of dry skies across our region and temperatures hanging out near 80. Now, there is some heat across the west still. It has been an incredibly hot summer for them. Uh, these 90s, though, will likely stay there. We will have comfortable 80s across our area tomorrow, followed by a bit of a dip on Thursday. 80s forecast high tomorrow, 75 for Thursday, 77 for Friday, so very comfortable. Again, the average high being 78, 79. Most of us will do that or a little bit below that after tomorrow. Lots of clear skies out there now, pretty much for the entire state and for Michigan and Minnesota. In fact, here we go. This is what high pressure does, right? High pressure, it's sinking air. You can't get clouds out of that. Uh, and this is happening across uh, pretty much the upper Midwest, most of Canada currently. And this thing is going to slowly go this way. So we will begin to get some of this in here later on Thursday into Friday. Most likely going to stay dry, though, until the weekend when a couple of thunder showers are in the forecast on Saturday. I know, timing not great, but for tomorrow, looking at 80 again with lots of sunshine across the area to the north. Uh, looking at probably low to mid 80s across central Wisconsin tomorrow. Uh, Adams Friendship, you can do 86 for a forecast at high temperature tomorrow afternoon. For tonight, though, lots of clear skies out there, not as cold as last night. So if you're in a tent tonight, uh, it won't be as bad, right? 56 for a low with some dense fog after midnight once again. For tomorrow, another gorgeous day. We can get used to this, right? Lots of sunshine, highs 
highs near 80 will probably do it with a northwest breeze around 5 to 10 through the afternoon. And then looking ahead, your seven-day forecast by Northwest Furniture and Metro shows a quiet day tomorrow. A few more clouds in here Thursday, 75, a bit cooler. Friday, gorgeous, 77. And then there's a couple thunder showers now in the forecast for Saturday, not an all-day rain. And then looking pretty good then Sunday into Monday. Jessica? Thank you, Jeff. It's no surprise, but Wisconsin is taking the top spot for its cheese production. The American Cheese Society judges found Wisconsin produces the best cheese curds. Cheddar Grove Cheese won the cheese curds category, while Ron's Wisconsin Cheese placed third. Out of nearly 380 awards, 29 producers in America's Dairyland earned 90, 90 medals. 81 of those were for cheese production and 9 for butters and yogurts. The GFWC Rhinelander Women's Club is one of the oldest active organizations in all of Rhinelander. Women from all around the Northwoods come together once a month to spend time with one another as well as discuss problems that face society. Newswatch 12's Will Haroldson met, was at the August meeting and has more about the organization. This is our startup for the new year. The GFWC Rhinelanders Women's Club held their annual season kickoff picnic this August, where women from around the Rhinelander area came together to socialize. GFWC stands for the General Federation of Women's Club. It's a international organization, and Rhinelander Women's Club, we are the second oldest organization continuing in Rhinelander. Women's Club Vice President Dee Jacobs says much of what they do as an organization is volunteer work to better the Rhinelander community. We work with NAF and the table. We give books for daycare centers and uh, child advocacy, just anywhere they need help and a volunteer. While the meetings are a good way for women from around the Northwoods to socialize, they have also been good places to discuss problems that face society. Starting in September, we'll go to our regular meetings and usually we have a speaker based upon a theme for the month. The GFWC Rhinelander Women's Club have many other events throughout the year as well as their monthly meetings at the beginning of every month. We will be very, very, very happy to welcome anybody that is interested in joining our group. Reporting in Rhinelander, Will Haroldson, Newswatch 12. A family is taking on a new challenge. The massive ice cream challenge one family did and how they did. We'll take a look at that after the break. This portion of Newswatch 12 is brought to you by Northwoods Furniture, Eagle River. Most senators couldn't tell you the cost of a gallon of milk. Thanks, Ruben. Or how much beef has gone up this year. But I'm not like most senators or any of the other millionaires running for Senate. My mom was a teacher and my dad worked third shift. I know how hard you work. And I know that by bringing manufacturing home, we create jobs and we lower costs. If we want to change Washington, we got to change the people we send there. I'm Mandela Barnes and I approve this message. Creative Kitchen and Bath Studio has designed beautiful and functional kitchens and baths in the Northwoods. When helping plan your dream kitchen or bath with in-home consultation available, they provide 3D drawings of your spaces to bring your visions to life. Owner and designer Sarah has over 25 years of experience, overseen 500 plus projects, and built strong relationships with local contractors providing superior installation. Whether it's a new home or a remodel, Creative Kitchen and Bath Studio in Eagle River looks forward to making your dream kitchen or bath a reality. At Lens Truck, we've made the buying experience fast and easy. All our trucks are guaranteed clean certified, can be bought hassle-free online, and can be delivered right to your door. It's our way of saying thanks to our past and future customers for the last 35 years. And when you buy a Lens Truck, know that you're buying the best used truck money can buy. Go now to LensTruck.com. You'll find over 800 used trucks, all priced to move. Go now to LensTruck.com. Lens Truck. Leisure City has been making a splash since 1989 as Northern Wisconsin's backyard headquarters for hot tubs, spas, saunas, grills, and outdoor furniture. Plus, our product knowledge, installation, and service are truly exceptional. Check out our supply of 100% recycled poly furniture. Our focus is on you. Any service needed, we will meet or exceed expectations. We take pride in our customer service. Leisure City is a nationally recognized award-winning dealer. Stop down at our showroom in Woodruff to see our large selection.
The Manaqua Dragon Boat Festival roars against cancer on August 20th. Register at Team Now for a day of fun at Torpy Park at Lake Manaqua. No experience needed, all equipment provided. Build your team of friends and family or represent your favorite business or organization. Ron Johnson never thinks about people like me. He's all about those Washington guys. Drug companies, insurance companies. Johnson took their money and pushed for billions in special corporate tax breaks and even admitted benefiting from them himself. No wonder Johnson's net worth doubled since he's been in Washington. Meanwhile, Johnson thinks we ought to consider raising the retirement age. We ought to put Ron Johnson into retirement instead. SMP is responsible for the content of this ad. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Slumberland. A 105-year-old veteran was recognized for his service during World War II by receiving the Congressional Gold Medal. Reynolds Tomter was a member of the U.S. Merchant Marines. The Merchant Marines were responsible for transporting supplies and reinforcements overseas. They lost more than 9,000 soldiers during the war, a higher, a higher proportion than those killed in any other military branch during the war. Still, the U.S. government didn't grant them veteran status until 1988. Tomter said Monday during a ceremony in Wisconsin that it's never too late. I'm not getting recognized until 1988. That hurt a little bit, but hey, pay off. It's never too late. Tom Dreher also received international recognition at that ceremony. Well, how many times have you ever stood in line looking at a long list of ice cream flavors and you couldn't pick out one? One store in Gleason may have fixed that solution with their latest challenge. Newswatch 12's Matt Weaver has the story. Is there such thing as too much ice cream? One store in Gleason doesn't think so. So they found some customers up for a challenge. I would have as much as they could. With the name of our business being 17 Scoops, I thought it would just be a fun thing to have people try and something for them to look forward to come and do. If they're up for the challenge, it's always a fun thing. The test, could two people finish 17 scoops of ice cream in one sitting? Ian Score immediately knew he was up for the challenge. I chose three of them and he chose two. He asked his dad to join him. I definitely wanted to. I thought it was an exciting thing for both him and I to do. And it brings awareness to, to Gleason and 17 scoops here. So I was all for it. Dig in, boys. They started out fast. I had a minimal brain freeze, I guess, for a little bit, but uh, I fought through it. And eventually, what was once an intimidating mound of sugar became their latest accomplishment. <laughs> All that was left afterwards was some downtime. I'm going to take a nap. I, I, uh, I had to work last night, and I have to work tonight again, so this is the, this is the middle of my night right now. So. <laughs> I maybe watch TV on the couch. The scores became the first team to sign up and complete the challenge, but the owner hopes for many more contestants. I think it just brings a lot of fun for our business and just to come and try different flavors of ice cream and just to really try something new and exciting. In Gleason, Matt Weaver, Newswatch 12. It's Slumberland's anniversary sale, and to celebrate, we're stacking the deals. Buy any sofa or sectional and get 20% off your second purchase. Get another 20% off both items. Plus, we are still offering great special financing at Slumberland Furniture. Have you heard the term fiduciary before? According to Investopedia.com, being a fiduciary means being legally bound to put your client's best interest ahead of your own. Did you know that registered investment advisors have a fiduciary duty to clients? But broker-dealers just have to meet the less stringent suitability standard, which doesn't require putting their client's best interest ahead of their own. At Bushko Wealth Management, all of our advisors are fiduciaries to provide our clients more peace of mind. Call us today or go online to schedule your complimentary review. And my economic plan is moving this country in a better direction. What planet is he living on? Record gas prices, 40-year high inflation, costing families five grand more for their necessities. Sorry, Joe, that's the wrong direction. Here on planet Earth, Senator Johnson voted against Biden's massive deficit spending that sparked inflation. And he passed tax cuts to help Wisconsin families survive the economic turmoil caused by Democrats. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message.
Update your home's exterior and save 11% off everything at Menards. Heavy Duty Timbercrest Plus vinyl siding comes with a 50-year fade warranty and it's available in eight trendy deep dark color options. All Timbercrest vinyl siding is 11% off. Accent your new siding with Novick Stackstone panel accents. It replicates the look of Stackstone masonry at a fraction of the cost. Get 11% off all Novick siding panels now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Northland Basement Systems is the all-things basementy company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces, too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. It's Slumberland's anniversary mattress sale, and we've got great deals and specials on mattresses. Like a free bedding bundle with select mattress purchases of $5.99 or more. That's two free pillows, a sheet set, comforter, and two pillowcases. Free! Only at Slumberland Furniture. At Eagle Floor Covering in Eagle River, we have a knowledgeable staff, competitive pricing, and free estimates. Browse our selection of carpet, vinyl, wood, and tile for your next home project. All right, Jessica, the polls close about an hour and a half across Wisconsin. Temperatures are hanging out in the 70s. Plenty of sunshine out there right now. The sun sets around 830. Nothing but clear skies across Wisconsin now and pretty much across the entire Great Lakes and Midwest. But here we go. The seven day includes 80 tomorrow, Thursday, 75, Friday, 77. Some thunder showers are back in the forecast now for Saturday. Not an all day rain, but overall kind of a dry stretch of weather and cooler after tomorrow. Thank you, Jeff. Well, and definitely stay tuned tonight. We'll have the latest election results tonight at 10. We'll see you then. Mr. Food Test Kitchen is brought to you by Golden Carrot Jewelers and Creative Kitchen and Bath Studio. You know, I love diners. And the one thing that makes it my favorite is that there are so many choices. You can get everything from fill you up breakfast to comforting dinners and even homemade desserts. But you want to know what my favorite diner food is? It's hot off the ground.